My guest right now is Dr. Taz Batia, a board-certified physician and holistic doctor. You may have seen her on TikTok, where she gives medical advice <laughs> to her more than 40,000 followers. Please welcome Dr. Taz Batia to the show. Um, you know, you heard Brooke Shields say you got to go in there and advocate for yourself. What does that mean? You know, you have to be your own best advocate. You have to empower yourself because unfortunately, gaslighting is happening probably in about 30% of all medical encounters, wow. probably 50% of all female encounters. So if we are not sort of taking this into our own hands mm -hmm. and really going into that encounter prepared, right. We're not going to have the outcome we want. That's what you say. You say, come prepared. Does that mean printing out articles? No, it's not. So it's a couple of steps. The first step is release your shame. Mm -hmm. Because so many of us, I've been there, so many of us are just ashamed by the way that we feel. And yeah. it takes a lot of energy to even begin talking about it. Okay. That's the first step. The second step is go ahead and identify your top three signs or symptoms. What are the things that are getting in your way? Mm -hmm. And have that written down on a list. Right, tracking it. Because <laughs> Track if it, you have so a constant headache, write down the times that you've had that Absolutely. headache, the days that you have that headache, what it feels like. You want yeah. to make sure you get your point across right. and express to them how it's affecting your quality of life. Okay, and that's a key one because I know oftentimes you go to a doctor and they say, on a scale of one to 10, what does the pain feel like? I'm like, I don't know, right. it hurts. Right. Like, or if it's not hurting that day, you underestimate it because the pain the is behind you. All the time. No, I want, you should track it. You should be honest. You should be open. And you should have those questions written down and you should make sure you're getting those questions answered. What about going in when you say, I don't even like using the word demanding, but demanding, I want a blood, I want blood work or I want an MRI or I want, how do we approach that when the doctor's not suggesting those things? I think you have to, here we go again, you have to advocate for yourself. You have to say, I've done my own personal digging. These are the symptoms I'm having. Yeah. I would like X, Y, and Z, yeah. whatever that means for you. And I think here's the critical part of this whole movement is that if you're not getting, this is one of the big red flags, if you're not getting the interaction, they're not looking you in the eye, you're getting dismissed, you're being told you're tired, you're stressed, you're anxious, or, or it's just a part of aging, you know? Mm -hmm. Then all of those are really big red flags that you need to move on right. from that encounter right. and find somebody else. Other thing I always tell people, and this happened with my mom, I keep bringing her up, but. I, I, she had tons of prescriptions that were being given yeah. to her. And I went in and I asked her doctor, like, I need to know what every one of these things is for and how it reacts with the other thing. Right. The system is set up for so much miscommunication, for so many errors, that we have to be our own advocate. Mm -hmm. We have to go in there understanding whether it's for us or for our family members, mm -hmm. what everybody is on, what the implications are, what their signs and symptoms are, when their next visits are, when tests are scheduled, mm -hmm. because the way it's set up currently is designed to fail. And quite honestly, when we look at the numbers, we are failing as oh. a medical system. Well, when you're not failing because doctors like you are on the front line. Yes, You're educating <laughs> us. And as I said at the beginning of the show, we know this is not all doctors, but we cannot ignore that 50% of the women, according to the research you just yes. cited, potentially are being gaslighted when it comes to our medical health. Yes, and and that's too many. It's too many, and it's worse when we get to people of color. The mm. number goes even higher. Oh, my God. Dr. Taz, thank you thank so you. much. We appreciate you joining us. Check out Dr. Taz on Instagram and TikTok where you can join her. Superwoman Circle Community. She helps women find answers to their health questions.